All right, Jeff Williams here. Are you incompetent? You know, the best business leaders are incompetent. What I mean by that is they're always willing to learn. You see, in learning, we go through a cycle. We go through a cycle of being what we call uh, unconsciously incompetent to being consciously incompetent to being consciously competent and then unconsciously competent. Let me explain what I mean by that is. Um, when we're young children, um, we don't know that we can't drive. We're unconsciously incompetent. We get to an age that when we realize that actually what mum and dad are doing, I could probably do that, drive this car. We're now becoming conscious that we are incompetent. So we're consciously incompetent. And then we take driving lessons and we start to learn to drive. At that point, changing gear, stopping at a junction, not stalling the car. We're really consciously becoming competent. We're consciously competent. We then pass that stage and get to the stage where we pass our test and we're now driving and we're able to drive without any instruction. We're not even thinking about what gear we're in. In fact, miles and miles go by and we can't remember what we did with the car. We are now unconsciously competent. So we go through a stage of uh, being unconsciously incompetent to be conscious that we're incompetent to conscious competence where we're really thinking about what we're doing and then we end up being unconsciously competent. We are very good at what we're doing. And what we should do in life always is always just complete that circle over and over again. If we can continue completing that circle, we find we get better and better. Now in business, what are you? Are there areas where you are unconsciously incompetent, things that you don't know? Well, I'm sure there are. There are many things that we don't know. There are things that we know we don't know, and there's lots of things we don't know we don't know. And it's those things that are the blind spots. Those are the things that will hold us back in business. So it could be that we are, we, we're conscious actually, we're consciously incompetent. We know that we're not great at marketing, how to put a, a marketing plan together. We're consciously incompetent at sales, putting a sales process place, in place so that other people can copy it and run it in our business. We may be consciously incompetent and know that we're not great at management. We don't know how to manage and lead a team. We've never been trained in it. So get yourself on the journey, cycling all the way through from being unconsciously incompetent to be unconsciously competent, to being brilliant at business. I've got a great blog here, which you can read about how you can be a great leader in your business. Um, I hope that's been helpful for you today. I'm Jeff Williams.